Well, hello there, my lovely and spectacular listeners. Listeners, how you doing? And it's Far Out Friday's edition. I'm doing excellent. I just got back from an awesome bike ride. It is not too hot, not too cold. It is just perfect to go on, on a bike ride. But anyway, I took advantage of that. Now, I, I just relax, hop in the shower, and other stuff, you know? Now, I'm doing this awesome podcast for you, my listeners. I never ever forget you, my listeners, if you guys still tune in. But anyway, let me do my introduction, then we'll get this show on the road. I'm going to discuss for you, my lovely listeners, wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of interesting topics to discuss for you. So if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, grab something to drink. Now if you don't want to do nothing at all, you want know, Zippo, maybe, just maybe, you just want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts on this certain matter, on this, sorry, on this current matter. So let's begin here, shall we? Now we have not seen The Undertaker and John Cena since the greatest Royal Rumble, and that was what, a few months ago? Now, the reason I mention this, this is backstage news update, whatever you want to call this darn blessed thing, that there are news about Undertaker and John Cena about SummerSlam. Okay. According to a report from Cage Side Seats, the Undertaker is most likely to wrestle at the way SummerSlam than John Cena is. So that is a good thing, not a bad thing. <clears throat> I mean, if you are fired up to see Taker return for the billionth time, kudos. But on the other hand, if you are very disappointed that John Cena is not going to wrestle at SummerSlam. Stuff happens, you know? He has other projects in the works. Probably filming movies, filming another, probably another episode of Toa Bellas in the probably fall, and he's got to film that now for the fall. And the more I don't see John Cena on television, that's fine by me. And I know you're going to say, Team I right, you're definitely a hater. No, I'm not a freaking hater. Just because I don't agree with you guys' opinion out there on social media, he needs to get the step in now, okay? Sorry, he needs to get the step in. Big time. I know that's an old um, catchphrase from, from the 90s or whenever, but he has made his mark. He has nothing to come. Um, um, he won every freaking championship almost, except the women's. But that's never gonna happen. Um, other probably the only belt he didn't win is the IC belt, right? So he don't need to win every freaking belt. So all this accomplishments is done. Now it is time for John Cena to go in the sunset. And then we could put you in the Hall of Fame in their future. Now, on the other hand, with the Undertaker, how much does he have left in his tank? Okay? I know John Cena is way younger than Taker, but probably Taker says, Man, McMahon, how many times you got to keep calling me? I want to re- really enjoy my rest of my life, you know? With my family, with my beautiful kids, and all that stuff. I want to do stuff and chill like a villain. I don't keep competing at the greatest Royal Rumble or SummerSlam, TLC, or etc. You can give me all the money in the world, McMahon. I'm not going to do it. Of course he's going to do it. You know, it's all about the money. And of course, he's so loyal to McMahon in the company, you know. He's still the leader of the locker room. I know he's a part-timer. He's still awesome. And... It don't matter how old you are, my lovely listeners. The entrance for Undertaker gives me chills. What about you? That gave me more chills than flipping John Cena's music all the freaking time. Whatever. 
That's all I gotta say. I'll put the article down below. And you guys can read the rest of it. Oh, another thing is, Taker is is gonna return again at the Super Show in later this year. You know, I think October, and he's gonna face last one more match against um, Triple H. We heard that before in the past, right? When it was a couple of years ago, the end of the era. You know, Triple H versus Taker. So I think they just set up set, say that. To sell tickets and sell merchandise. Anything to sell merchandise. Shame on you, WWE. Shame on you. But it's still a good f thing. But anyway, I gotta rewatch that match. Anyway, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit the notification, leave a comment about the article only. Don't give me any brief. I know I last night I kind of botched it because I cannot really pronounce it from last night. So don't judge me. I'm not the best podcast host but anyway hit the subscribe uh, hit the notification if you leave a notification hit the notification and you never ever miss any kind of upload whenever i feel like uploading this is team right here sign off